Hey, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about the Banisher 2.0 and how it helps your skin in between your peels. For me, the best thing about this micro needle is the packaging. It is well thought out. The cap has a fill line to guide you where to put the alcohol to sanitize your tool. It's pretty smart if you ask me. I haven't seen this anywhere. On all of the micro needles I've used in the past, this is the only one that has this feature. Unscrew the cap, dry out the alcohol. It has 24K gold plated titanium bristles. Mine have stains on it because I have been using it more than how you're supposed to be using it. <laughs> it still works and that's how you know it's worth the price you pay. So, This is how my face looks before we start micro needling. Remember to wash your face. I did before I filmed this. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, I will link everything down below in the description box for you to have background knowledge on how my scars looked prior to this video. On those videos, I also talked about how treating scars with TCA or chemical peels can make your scars appear whiter, but only because the skin is getting more even and it is effective. This is not the first time I've used their brand, so make sure to follow the instructions Banish has on their website. Just remember to do it slowly and apply even pressure. And just take your time, you don't have to rush this. You can really see the skin getting red so fast. Also like this video and don't forget to subscribe please for more of these content. With Banish's new design, let's just call it the Big Stamp, the needles penetrate your skin evenly unlike the roller where it scrapes off your skin which makes this brand and this tool, the Banisher 2.0, even more effective. I have used this once a week before I started my peels and TCA cross. And this is my first time back on it since a couple months ago when I also did my laser treatment. Like what I keep saying on my other videos, make sure to always do your own research before you start using a product, whether it is skincare, TCA, microneedle, makeup, anything. Always make sure it will not irritate your face in any way. I was honestly skeptical about this brand for so long and I wished I wasn't because it really helped my scars even before I had my laser done and when I started my peels, it really helped the scars get better. So that's another thing. I would actually suggest you to do microneedling before you start any other treatments too or do them in between because it really helps. Check out my other videos to see my skin's progress, especially how these treatments gave me hope in getting rid of my acne scars. Everything is gonna be linked down below and probably on the upper right. Just click it. The skin I have here on this video has been two years worth of treatments, supplements, vitamins, and we still have a long way to go, to be honest. Just remember to be patient with your skin. We all have different skin types. Make sure to do your own research. Search for the products that really work for you. I have experimented on myself, whether it's food, whether it's makeup, skincare, anything, just to know what breaks me out, just to know what really works on my skin, you know, just to know how everything really helps get rid of my scarring and my acne. Also, if you're worried about any hyperpigmentation, don't worry. It goes away after some days. It does depend on your skin type. I have sensitive dry skin and my redness and hyperpigmentation goes away after two days. But yeah, so just do it slowly. Do the stamp slowly. Focus on your really bad areas. You're actually allowed to go from three to five passes on those areas on your skin. Yeah, just take your time.
If you haven't seen my other videos, you can definitely see the difference. I would actually call it getting together. <laughs> the scars I have on this video and my previous videos, the scars seem to be attached to one another now. Only because the skin is getting flatter. That's how you know the treatments are effective. I think I did three passes on my entire face. I'm not really sure anymore. But all I know is I really focus on the really bad areas, especially on my cheeks. You can see some bleeding now on the right cheek. The forehead area is actually the worst for me. It just always makes me tear up, you know? I do, I do my forehead really, really slow because that's how painful it is for me. I don't use any numbing cream either. And I haven't used my bleaching cream in a while. Um, I just kind of let my TCA peels and my TCA cross do its own thing. It is advised for you to do the bleaching cream. I just don't do it. Um, I just don't apply it as much as, um, as much as what my doctor told me to. There's definitely some bleeding now. This one is really painful, the forehead. Yeah, it always really makes me cry, makes me tear up. Yeah, so my deepest scars are on my temples, on my cheeks, left and right and by the jawline. So those are really what you can see under the light. Specific lighting is good for acne scars, but it really depends on the light that you are using. I actually had to make sure I'm stamping the right areas over and over. Also, you have to keep switching sides of the micro needle. You have to keep turning it left and right before you stamp it on your face. It is advised to do that. Um, it will be on their website if you want to check it out. I'll link everything down below. So I've been using this Korean brand, the Maison All-in-One Snail Cream. If you haven't tried out any Korean brands, this one is a really good way to start. I apply a good amount every time I do my treatments. I don't usually use this much on my regular skincare, but just be generous after your treatments because it will really help you. Up next, we have the C Buckthorn Berry Oil. This one is actually like an all-in-one oil. You can even take it as a supplement, but I only use this as my skincare additive. Just add three to four drops to your moisturizer and bam! Yellow moisturizer. This leaves stains, so just be careful. Sea Buckthorn Oil promotes skin hydration, elasticity, cell regeneration, and even helps treat and prevent acne. That is a double plus for me. Also, beware if you are sensitive to scents. This one has a very strong plant smell. Probably because I only dilute mine with a little bit of moisturizer, but honestly, I just don't care because it is effective. I have sensitive skin and this one never gave me any issues. So this is how my face looked the next day. I haven't washed my face so you can see there's still a little bit of yellowish tone left on my face. The stain does go away, don't worry about it. 
Again, guys, like this video, subscribe for more of these content, comment down below for any questions and suggestions that will really help me out a lot. For our skin progress, one week can really make a difference with the help of microneedling and if you use products that really work for you. I have researched and used so many products that worked on me and so far these are the best. Thank you guys for watching. Bye!